a small thing, but powerful. Hello everybody! Here I have an automotive 30 amp circuit tester. It is very handy tool when you check what is draining your car's battery or you can test if certain component receives power. The tester has two parts. Ammeter with a digital display and a probe. Let's do some tests. First, we have to gain access to the fuses. In my car, I have to remove the ashtray. On the back of it, I have a sticker showing which fuse works with which component. And the fuses are numbered. The probe is too long, so I have to remove this shelf. Let's check if the fuel pump gets power. The sticker indicates that the fuel pump and car computer are protected by fuse number 1. Here we have it. 25 amps. I remove it and plug it into the sound. Then I plug the sound into its place. I don't start the car. Ignition on and the ammeter shows for a second 10.8 amps. Then it drops to 2.2 amps. What does it mean? The fuel pump gets energized and draws some current. But it still doesn't mean it is in working condition. When I turn the key to ignition, the fuel pump receives power to prime the fuel system. But then the computer is waiting for a signal from RPM sensor to see if the crankshaft is turning. No signal? The computer shuts down the power to the pump, which is why amperage drops to 2.2 amps. Now the computer draws 2.2 amps reading sensors and makes sense of it. Fuse number 5 works among other things with the interior light. 15 amps. Number 5 fuse gets into the sound and I plug it in. When I open the door, one amp current is drawn. So we can test with it if a specific component gets energized, what current it draws, and which component drains our battery dead. It is handlier than a regular multimeter. Not only because of two-handed spaghetti probes to handle, but also because many multimeters work only up to 10, sometimes 15 amps. When you buy this device, pay attention to the size of the fuses you have in your car. My tester will not work in this Mazda. Those fuses are smaller. 